Um, Tyler Beatty and their offensive line. I mean, Tyler Beatty is an exceptional running back, very physical, very tough. Um, they had a really good plan defensively, I thought, coming in. And and uh, when when you have that type of a of defensive front and um, you have to make big plays, you have to you have to make them pay. And uh, I felt like we did. It took a long time. Uh, we were lucky to score there a touchdown in the in the first half. But our defense, they bent, but they didn't break. I also want to say I'm very happy uh, for Coach Odom. Um, it is his birthday today. Mine's not until Sunday. Uh, but I'm very, very happy. And I don't really want to talk about the situation, but I do want to say I'm very, very happy for him and our football team. With that, I'll take questions. Sam kind of alluded to it, but, you know, KJ didn't throw a ton of passes, but what he hit like four or 40 plus, he had a, some big runs. Just what did you think of KJ's big plays, especially in the third quarter when you guys uh, built, built the Well, I think, I think, again, you're looking at um, a defensive scheme that is you, you've got to break it. And if you don't, you're going to get more first half results and uh you know where early in the first half he was sacked on a hot protection in other words they're bringing more than we can protect and then in the third quarter he hits Burks for a touchdown you know a guy coming basically up the a gap um so he has matured he you know he throws the long ball very very well and uh, obviously, he's very excited when 16's out there one on one. He throws it up to him. He goes, gets it. So uh, I just, I really have been pleased with the progression he had, not only a, as a football player, but um, as a team leader. Uh, he really has taken a, a huge role in that. And I'm very proud of him. And early in the half, he had that little tunnel screen, I guess, to Warren. That kind of seemed to break things up a little bit. Warren had a nice game. He really did. Yeah, you know, it's, it was, uh, you know, those are some things Davion did last year for us, you know, and some reverses and some catching screens and making plays and yardage off of it. But uh, I was really happy for him, especially, you know, he came back super senior uh, to end that way out there with a win and, and have a good game. Uh, but uh, he looked really good tonight, I thought, or today. Halftime, pretty close game at halftime, mm -hmm. and you guys came out and, and – started hitting some big plays and stuff. What was the discussion uh, in the locker room at halftime about, you know, what, what's happened so far and, and what needs to happen in the second half? Well, we knew what they were doing. You know, they, they had a nice game plan. But at some point, you, you've got to go attack that and, uh, and, and not sit there and, and say we're, we're afraid. In other words, we are a running team. We want to have success running. But if someone is going to take that away from you, you have to say, okay, we're going to burn you deep. I mean, we're going to make you pay. We're going to run screens, things of that nature. I thought Coach Browse and his and the offensive staff did a nice job of opening up the game plan because basically what we were doing, we were chasing spots. So backs over here, they're blitzing off the edge over here. You're chasing spots. Well, when you're chasing spots, the ball is going to cut up. When the ball cuts up, we can't block the Willie linebacker. And a lot of times that was what was going on out there. But we just talked about, hey, we get the ball back. I was mad. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I was disappointed. I didn't think we were playing with a lot of energy. Uh, and I let them know. I mean, that's my job. Uh, but I don't think the halftime speech is why we played better. I think the coaches made a, a change and and uh, said, "Hey, let's let's tee it up, let it fly, see what happens." Your, what's your thoughts on um, the play of the linebackers? Bumper had 13 tackles today. Um, Hayden, both those guys had some big hits. Grant's last game here, and um, Monteric Brown five interceptions no, on the season. I mean, well, you threw in a DB in the in the. What's your thoughts on the linebackers? I got you. Uh, the linebackers are outstanding, and you know that. I mean, don't they run the ball? And, uh, you know, with Bump and Hayden and Grant, and they've been that way all, all year. Um, certainly, you know, again, you have to give Missouri credit on their offensive line for 
Um, but they made a lot of tackles uh, for Beatty to have those yards he had. They made a lot of tackles. And then Mo, he just seems to be a uh, big play Mo. You know, I mean, we need him. Uh, he ended up picking one to, 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 to this afternoon. And then, of course, LSU. And and uh, he's playing with a lot of confidence. You know, again, he's a senior. I was uh, very happy to see him have success today, too. So, uh, it seemed like Traylon got dinged up there early in the first quarter and then came back and had the game he did. Well, what's that say about him? And what have you thought about his season in general, going over a thousand yards. He's a bad man. I mean, I asked Dave, I said, where's Burks? He said, the trailer, I said, go get him. I mean, we got to get him out of there. The bad stuff happens in there, you know? Um, but he came back, said he felt fine. You know, uh, um, he can do almost anything. I mean, he, he can catch the ball. He running better routes. He can block. Obviously, he ran the option. Um, just a really, really talented guy and just a better kid than he is talent. And I think everybody knows that. But running that option, wasn't that beautiful? You know, he, he held it long enough, pitched it out there to rock it. And, and, you know, the great thing about Burks is him doing that was just every bit as important to him as if he would have been the guy that scored the touchdown. I mean, he's just a special, special person. Can you express what it means to have all three of your trophy, trophy games and trophies? I don't know if I can. Yeah, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, we don't have a guy on our team that had any of them ever, not one, not one that earned one of them, and to have those three trophies in there and Larry that's uh we didn't earn Larry we bought him for 20 bucks but <laughs> but to to have those three trophies in there is big I didn't know it like I said before Grant said I said why you don't make such a big deal out of out of these trophies you know of course I do and Grant said because there's not any of us ever earned one of them and to have all three of them for the first time in the history of the University of Arkansas or to beat all three of those teams in the same year, uh, I believe, for the first time as well. Um, it's a great tribute to those kids and to uh, my assistant coaches. Okay, so now you're four games over 500, eight and four. There's talk of a Florida Bowl. I mean, just your thoughts about how you finished out this season after that three-game losing streak. Well. In the three-game losing streak, we got beat by Georgia, and everybody else that played them did too. And then we we lost to Ole Miss by one. I mean, I get it. Everybody thought the world was coming to an end because we got beat by Georgia, and so was everybody else. They got a good football team. I'm glad they're in our league representing the SEC. Um, but you're 100% right. Uh, we came back, we went on a run. Obviously, we fell short at Alabama to do what we had planned on doing. You know, we wanted to make the run through Pine Bluff all the way to now. We fell seven points short there at Alabama, but um, it just shows that we've got good kids that believe in their coaches, uh, that understand the effort and physicality and doing the right things can win ball games for you. If you make people beat you, in other words, if you earn what you're going to get and they earn what they're going to get, you got a chance. And our kids believe that, and I'm real proud of them. Okay, I thought KJ went in the, the injury tent or whatever it is you call that thing, and then he was on the bike a lot. So there was, I think he, looked like he was limping a little bit. Who, Dominique? No, talk about KJ. Okay. Um, so obviously there was something bothering him, but he didn't seem to let it bother him on the field. Well, what would you think of that? I think he's tough, you know. Um, I think he didn't want to let his team down if he at all could get back out there and play, and and he certainly did, you know. So leaders usually do that kind of stuff. They usually do a little bit more than than others. Did you guys give Barry a game ball or a cake or something or anything? Uh, actually, I didn't. Um, I had the game ball. I gave it to Grant Morgan and I gave it to Joe Fouché and I asked him to give it to Barry and they, they uh, stood up, talked about what coach Odom means to him and uh, gave him the 
certainly did give him a game ball. He's, he, he deserved it. And it looked like Bumper kind of gathered him up at the start of the second half out there. Were you close enough to hear any of that? No, um, I wasn't, but Bumper's a fiery guy. I'm sure he got them. All three of those linebackers, when they talk, everybody listens. So I'm sure I, – I don't know what he said, no. Does he do that often? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bump knows he's a leader for us, and and uh, absolutely. Coach, is, is Dominique still kind of beat up, I guess, and then also yeah. – yeah, it looks to me like he's got a leg injury, and we put him back in there, I believe, the first play of the second half, and he got four, but it was a nasty-looking four, you know, and we said, hey, we got to get him out. You know, one thing about injuries, if you play a guy that's really hurt, there's a chance that he can get hurt because he can't get out of his own way. Uh, right whenever I saw him run there, I said, get him out. I mean, twofold, we, we, we would have better to put in. But more more importantly, he was – I thought he was too hurt to get out of his own way. He needs to come out so he can avoid uh, further injury. Malik Chavis wasn't out there today. Do you have an update on him? Just had concussion. I don't know that – I'm sure he'll be back by whatever bowl invites us. You had 29 people out there on senior day. That might, that might be a modern-day record. A lot you gonna, of guys. You going to let them all go? No. Those conversations start. They already have. <laughs> no, I mean, look at what happened to us this year, you know, to have those kids come back and help us. And so, no, we obviously we don't have as many as we did last year. I think last year we got nine to come back. Uh, this year we don't have that, you know, we don't have as many seniors. Uh, but, yeah, they're welcome to come back. And we want them to come back. and and help us and you know some of them want to go ahead and go go into their nfl career some of them want to go into their business career um but i i will say this i think every super super senior i don't know i don't want to speak for them but i'll bet you every super senior that came back is proud and pleased that they did i know it's eight and four and i the world may look at eight and four as eight and four but it's not here at Arkansas. It's different. We we haven't been relevant in for a while. And for us to do that to those kids in that locker room, that's a big, big deal. So I'm proud of them. Coach, this is kind of a weird question, but is Keetron Jackson, he made a really nice catch out there today. Yeah. Is that someone that can – Step maybe increase his role next year a lot. I mean, yeah. a lot, not just obviously. Play yeah, I, I certainly hope so. I mean, he made a nice catch out there. Um, you know, guys are freshmen, you know, those things. Um, uh, Pooh uh, played a little bit, I believe, today, and so he'll be able to play in the bowl. And then we had uh, that gummit, 14. Uh, Bryce Stevens who we held so he could play in the bowl game. You know, we, we what we were trying to do is get those guys kind of on the bubble where number four would be so they could actually have those 12 or depending on what bowl we get invited to, you know, how many days that we'll have. But so we could have those 10 to 12 to 13 practices so they can have a spring ball type deal with those young kids and – they'll get more out of it because they know they can play in the game. So we were fortunate to be able to do that with Pooh and Bryce. Sam, I guess you won't know until next Sunday for sure, until it's announced your bowl. You, you might know before that. But um, well, what, what's the game plan between now and then to give guys all the – or what's – Well, they're going to lift, voluntary, voluntary lift, and they'll come in, they'll do it. Um, not voluntary study table. <laughs> they have to do that. Um, and then uh, we're going to meet back together on Monday, uh, a week from Monday, uh, after uh, whatever, whomever wants to invite us to the bowl. And, um, and then we'll probably start. They'll lift a little bit more. That's kind of finals week starting, and we'll probably start practice for our bowl, bowl somewhere between the 9th and the 10th, prop, probably, of December, get a couple in or three uh, that weekend, run it into recruiting as well. 
a recruiting weekend. And then, uh, you know, we're, we've got plans for just different people, you know, whoever, whoever chooses us, you know, we've got different plans, but we're going to be off for a few days. I think anybody in their right mind realizes eight wins against the schedule in particular is pretty big accomplishment. Um, I don't think anybody had you guys winning eight games for the season. Maybe you did, but not a lot uh, of other people. You did, didn't you? Uh, Come on. No. Oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I, God dang it. I gotta be honest. I thought, I thought six, <laughs> he said, I gotta be honest. I said, I said, I think I told people if you guys won six, they should probably build a statue for you or something. Yeah. But um, the teams that you guys have lost to, I think right now are like 20 games over 500. So, I mean, you know, you had some big wins and the people you lost to, you didn't really have like a quote bad loss, you know? Yeah. yeah thank you. What, what do you think about, about all that? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm just really happy that we won tonight and, you know, we beat our, what we, we consider our rival and, uh, uh, we're going, we're going to have fun with all the, you know, all those three trophies and things of that nature, but when an eight, that means we have kids that bought in and a really good coach, you know, really good assistant coaching staff. And, uh, they're all very loyal to me and they, they make me look good. And I really appreciate all of them. It's a different kind of weekend. You get Saturday, you can do whatever. What What will the weekend and your birthday be like? You know, I'm trying to lose weight, and it's the worst whenever them hamburgers start going across the screen and stuff. And so I don't really know. Tomorrow I'm off. We have some family in town and, and some friends. Uh, actually, Sunday's my birthday, and that'll be – I'll be celebrating going into people's homes. You know, that's just how it is. Uh, but I'll be 60, you know, and it seemed like a whole bunch of years. I don't know, but I don't feel, I feel good, you know, but uh, I guess I should be thanking a good Lord that I made it to 62. Coach, this may be a tough one. When, when did you know you had this kind of team? Never. I mean, I know we had a good group of kids, but in the SEC, you know, you got to win some close games to end up having a good season, you know, and as much as people talk about us not going, making it against Ole Miss, you know, the two point conversion, you know, we, y'all were out here at Mississippi state. It is pretty close too. And y'all were at LSU. You, you know what I mean? So, um, usually in a season, probably take away here and kind of get back over here and to sit here with eight and four and, you know, it's not just eight and four guys. It's because you're going to finish in the higher end of the SEC. I mean, it's not only who you're behind, but who you're ahead of, you know, and, and if you really look at it, uh, eight and four, pretty good with, with, with our schedule. Now we don't want to accept it, but I mean, we don't want to get used to, well, eight and four, depending on what your schedule is sometimes pretty good. But to have the hardest schedule in football and be eight and four, we really kind of got embarrassed against Georgia. And after that, we we were in every game, you know. Back on Rob. Wow, that, we're going to end on that. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. I know y'all, but I, there's a, is there some new folks in here or no? No? Yes? Yeah. There seem to be some new people, Kyle. Yeah. Well, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. We appreciate y'all, and thanks for being kind to us.